good morning students once again i welcome you to my video lectures on signals and systems as we know that uh, we are proceeding with uh, z transform and uh, we have come to inverse z transform and uh, in the last class i, I said that uh, there are three methods of doing inverse z transformation number one contour integration method which i will take up at the end the other two popular methods are laplace transform method number 1 and the second one is what is called as long division method also known as expansion series series power series expansion these are the two methods uh, or we, we shall call it uh, long division method these are the two methods before you uh, go into partial first we take a partial fraction expansion method of doing inverse z transform and this method very much rests on what is known as basic z transform pair table we have to very well remember the z transform for few functions number 1 i will go through these functions one by one number 1 as you know that for step sequence u of n x of n u of n for u of n the the z transform is given by z over z minus 1 z over z minus 1 and we have to very well remember the roc for this one roc is z greater than 1 okay z greater than 1 second one this is un is right sided sequence number 2 sometimes we come across the un getting multiplied with the exponential sequence that is alpha to the power of n u of n this alpha may be positive or negative alpha may be positive or negative then alpha to the power of n u of n then the z transform is given by z over z minus alpha z over z minus alpha z minus alpha where z is greater than mod alpha the reason for uh, for writing this as mod alpha if alpha is positive or negative it should be taken uh, with mod sign so the sign doesn't count okay so alpha to the power of n u, u of n z over z minus alpha and alpha and z greater than mod alpha here also i can write mod z this is second one third one third one the third one is what is known as the left sided sequence that is u of minus n minus 1 u of minus n minus 1 so for that the z transform is the z transform is z over 1 minus z z over 1 minus z and mod z less than 1 mod z less than 1 now for the sake of remembrance so here it is z by z minus 1 so this is a, a known pattern so what i will do instead of u of minus n minus 1 i will take minus of u of minus n minus 1 take the negative of this sequence if you take the negative of the sequence then it is same same as this z over z minus 1 but roc differs roc cannot be same for uh, for both right sided and left sided now mod z this is less than 1 so here it is less than 1 whereas here it is mod z greater than 1 so for minus u of minus n minus 1 z by z minus 1 mod z less than 1 this is fourth one the fifth one is 
fifth fifth one fifth one is fifth one is now this sequence getting multiplied with exponential sequence that is alpha to the power of n minus alpha to the power of n u of minus n minus 1 then it becomes z over z minus alpha z minus alpha and mod z less than alpha mod alpha mod z less than so we can easily remember this uh, basic z transform pair so this is fifth one last one sixth one sixth one is so u n getting multiplied with rank n u of n n u of n getting multiplied n u of n then it becomes z over z minus 1 square z minus 1 square and with mod z less than only on rare occasions we come across the last one that is why i have numbered it number six numbered it six now this this is what is called as basic z transform pair so the problems are entirely dependent on this table so in the examination also students are requested to construct this table and then proceed with the problem in the next class i will take up problems thank you